him prolonging that surgery, I think that that this was premeditated. I'm about to prolong this. I'm about, he trying to get out of here. That sign, to me, it's signs of him trying to get out of here. I'm going to prolong this surgery while I know I'm going to have to miss the first month. You mean, I got to miss the first what month. What does that do for you to get out of here? That's what I don't understand. That's starting commotion. <laughs> what? What? What niggas do when they want to eat? <coughs> they find some fucking type of way to stir up the pot, huh? We got to stir the pot up some type of fucking way. No, Sam. Yeah, Everybody man, not yeah, Terrell you know, Owens. That like, boy either want out or he fucked up and just on some shit. Something going on to make that boy didn't go do that surgery. Now, it could be like you said. D, that don't Ain't make no, no the sense. Why you feel like you healthy though. How you, how at you, the end of the season and shit, when you played them last couple of games, you said you wasn't 100%. You were just trying to help the Saints with this playoff run. That's why you came back. You came back able to play, but you ain't come back as Michael Thomas. You see what I'm saying? You came back able to play? Yeah, because we was a playoff team. That's why you came back. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, son. Something going on. Why? That, some, how can something going on that the dude didn't want to get surgery? The fuck? That's thinking too hard into some shit. Yeah, that, That's that, that man hard, life. Man. Like, what the fuck? How can we know? Something going on without nobody saying that. Well, he's with the topics on these sports shows. What's going on with Michael Thomas behind school? What he want out? What he, you know, I'm not the only one saying this. These people that get millions of views, they, this, they topics, they t- be talking about it. What's going on with Michael I thought, Thomas I and the Saints? Yeah, what's going on with Michael they Thomas and the Saints? How the fuck we go from thinking Michael Thomas about to be healthy and ready for the year Man, that, that shocked our whole fan base. That's what the nigga been talking about all at the bookie, all this. That shocked our fan yeah, base. Yeah, when somebody get hurt, you're shocked. No, not get hurt. We thinking this fucking boy done had the surgery and he read it. Cause they told Why you, you going to think somebody had the surgery? Because yeah, months ago they told you Michael no. Thomas is going to have the surgery. No, you going to know if a nigga had you. surgery. They, gonna, they never told you he had it. Well, that mean he didn't have it, D. Exactly. Well, what you what mean said, you thought he but did? But they told us he was fucking getting it. No, who told you that? Nobody. He like, At the end of the season, what? Put up, put up I never knew nothing fast. about that. Man, Michael Thomas is expected to have surgery. You know he expected to have surgery, so not a much past his offseason, you know. As a fan base, we th- I'm talking about a lot of Saints fans been calling the nigga, and I've been seeing the nigga, man, what's going on with the Saints, dog? You know, what's going on with this Michael Thomas? All right, shit? now look. We just fought this shit out. If Sean, Payton, Sean Payton expressed that. He's frustrated that Michael Thompson didn't have the, the what you just said. All right. Listen to me though, that's normal. Why wouldn't the, why would a coach not be frustrated that look you could have had it? We all know you could have had it, and now you having it now. That don't mean something going on. The man chose the wrong decision. No, what you mean? Well, that was nothing. Why is that? Hold up, at the end of the day, we all grown men, and everybody. Yeah. Wait, everybody make their own decisions. Exactly. For the reasons that they make. They they did, yeah, it's a however, reason behind this. They, however, if your old lady decides that she's not coming home till 6 o'clock the next morning, there's a reason, right? And she decided what that reason was going to be. You're going to find out what that reason is later. Might have not been nothing, might have been something. You feel me? And that's all. It's just one of the she things that just late. Everybody is saying so. Right. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no everybody. I, I just I looked at the, at the... At the. as simple as I thought I was going to heal, and then I started realizing the shit wasn't healing. I just looked I at I the news, right? I just looked at it. You know what's happening? There's nothing. There's no major news about Michael Thomas. The only news is Sean Payton is frustrated. Michael Thomas didn't have the, jer- the uh, oh, yeah, thing. Right now, because that's the only thing that come from a press conference. Only what the f- is, is Mike is yeah, so just because somebody bring it up on the show that, all right, Michael Thompson, we, it's a top wide receiver about to see you hurt. That don't mean something going on because the no, coach no, no, is frustrated. No, no. It don't mean something. That's, that's what I'm on. saying. It where is where? Something where on. is the, where it's is the, where is the, where is the, Where's the smoke at? You know where they say where the smoke is fired? It can't be just be the man didn't have surgery. That can't be the smoke. Well, it might not be smoke. It might be water vapor. But there's something there. I can't see it. From that, from just what we're saying, I, I can't say something there. Just because the man decided. Well, you a sportsman. 
Yeah, I can't say something there. Like, what the he man? Sports, man. Why would this man? Now, nah, this man had a fight with the cornerback last year. Now, nah, that's what I know about. The dude who keep fighting with everybody. Right, right. He snuck, <coughs> he snuck with some shit. But boom, that's he the only news that. I heard about Michael Thomas, him and but that and him being hurt. Right. Oh, nah. So just because he... Gonna, you're not going to hear nothing until it's time for you to listen. Yeah. Well, Sean Payne that should be frustrated if I know one of my best players. Don't mean it ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. Because it don't you, mean it ain't nothing. What you, because what you can't do as a Saints organization is you CD just there. saying don't jump the gun saying it is oh, something. Nah. Yeah, unless you're showing me something. You know for sure it can be something. You saying saying we shouldn't be jumping the gun saying it's something. Because it's going to present itself. Nothing presented itself to say something going on. That's what I'm saying. You're talking about the man hurt. When the coach say he frustrated, something going on. That's all. That's just just my opinion. Hold on. So common sense, he told you why he frustrated. That's a very good reason to be frustrated. Right. <laughs> like, so if the head coach is frustrated at the franchise player, we have a mini problem. We have we have a small problem. We have a problem. Our fucking highest paid player. When Tom needs, Brady threw a pick, we got a problem. <laughs> when I'm, Drew Brees threw a pick, I'm upset with Drew Brees. We got a mini problem. That's how big that problem is. Fuck no. Yeah, because what can you do about it? We got to move on. What if, what if that lead what if that lead to the communication with them never the same? He already mad about all right. Listen, well, listen somebody ain't no Thomas, man. Thomas Thomas come back start off uh, struggling. Oh, boom! Now it's a it's a verbal thing now. Oh, that nigga must feel some type of way. I ain't getting the ball like I used to. This shit can lead to something. All this is conflict in that fucking locker room with them two. It's conflict with them two behind that. Like, once somebody build a case about yeah, something, it could continue. The same organization is usually pretty goddamn quiet. And it seems yeah, like what we talking time, about? Like, it seems like every time the Saints organization have a, have a, 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 a scratch on the surface or something, they got some bullshit happening on the back door. Right. They got players fucking each other. Or ladies. Right. Coaches fucking with people. Man, that, I, that got to be an every locker up. Saints. I mean, it may be, but what I'm saying <coughs> is, being in the city, when shit is quiet and you hear any little thing, it's usually a little something deeper at the surface, because otherwise we don't... To me, it. to me, this is just football shit. This ain't, this not no non-football shit. This ain't nothing but the man. I feel Sean Payton. Well, of course we you should feel them. The surgery, and you my fucking target. I had big plans for you, you this year. What? I'm five weeks for sure without you. Dude. That's a fucking setback. What some people say, the best wide receiver in football when he 100%. He showed that I could be the number one receiver in the NFL. Now we missing that for four to seven weeks. We missing that for four to seven weeks now. It's football. It's a fucking dangerous sport. Yeah, man, but the fucking season ain't start yet. Well, nigga, I had to, I had to get my surgery. To, yeah, your stupid ass ain't go. That, see, now you coming back to what the fuck I'm saying. It's going to always be no, conflict. No, D, this is what I'm saying. This is why the conflict it's right not up. no conflict because, D, it's this the thing. It's going to back to... D, how am I stupid? How somebody is stupid? Listen, how is somebody stupid? This stupid ass nigga ain't go get the fucking surgery when we told him. That ain't gonna never come off Sean Payton's head and feel like that. He gonna be looking at him stupid like, fuck, you you set us back. D. You set us back. If, if listen, if we, if we, if I've we, been listening, if, I'm if, trying to say something. If we fucking four in five in week nine, I'm blaming you. You getting part of that blame because you missed five games and we four and five. You getting part of that blame, Mike. You getting part of that blame. How who? We four and five. We four and five in week nine and Michael Thomas ain't playing five of the nine games. You see what I'm saying? Like. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. No, because we sound stupid. This the thing. Mm-hmm. All right. This so, the so, thing. So, he so, sounds so, stupid you to me. Put them parts in there 
and still throw the intro at the front when we do get ready. If if you like some of the part when you get it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's that's cool, but look. That was cool. That was cool. Just Ain't can no man yeah, tell another like nigga, man, another man, he's life? stupid because <laughs> I gotta get over. He I, didn't I, have surgery. All right. The fuck? Because he didn't have surgery. You didn't. What the fuck? Like, no, man. What you mean? That's that man choice. It sounds like what we're really just talking about is whether you just kids are going to the high school. I'm saying. Just like Andy Davis, all right? The time. Instance, Andy Davis, they told him, get, they, you know, he went. Lock. Andy Davis went and had the surgery, lock, right? Lock, Andy what? Davis came back and got hurt. But Andy Davis went and had a little surgery at the beginning of the season when he missed that little time before he came back. He had got hurt again. Yo, see, bro, it's players all year round, every sport, that chooses not to have surgery and yeah, Tom Brady deal with it. Or six to eight games they can last either year they can either with play a with it. Torn something in his knee. All right, Toe. let me talk. Like they, whether they keep playing with the injury or they try to heal up without the surgery. How can another man say this man a stupid from not having a surgery? Like that's your fucking yeah, knees but no, or your no ankles why, no why. or your Cause, shit. Because our doctors looked at it. And this ain't doctors, about no doctors. Our doctors doctor said for sure, go ahead on and have a surgery. D. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's your words. It's not their words. They ain't their words. I know if if if. Based on your, uh, right, he's saying that you buying into that. System. How could you tell so another man buy, to have nah, surgery? Tell another man he could, he could have a surgery or not. Uh, that's up to not him. You can't tell him. But when he came in this room and we worked on him and seen. Okay, I'm not scared to have surgery no more. Let me go ahead on and get this surgery. But now. We but our up, team doctors. the team, and the team can't perform at its top level, which is, I thought, what we were supposed to be trying to do, perform yeah. at a top level. Well, if we're not all trying and to then, perform at like, a top level like, in these games, like, what, what are we, we doing? not telling you to go now have the surgery. And we ain't sending our doctors at you, and our doctors telling us, because this is how this shit go. Sean Payton ain't look at the nigga knee and say he had a surgery. The team doctors came back. The nigga need to have that surgery right now. It's it's we looking at it. He need to have the surgery. Now Michael Thomas probably got with his people and they probably said Michael you can work this out. See that too, see? That probably too. But the Saints team doctors felt like had a surgery. Not no fucking Sean Payton. The Saints medical staff felt like Michael Thomas was supposed to have that fucking surgery and he didn't. Now, that's his opinion and shit. That's why the Saints mad with him. Our medical staff said, you were supposed to have the surgery. Nigga looked at that knee and said, had a surgery. He got a second opinion or something, and that's where the beef at. He had to. Ain't no way we recommend a surgery if our doctors ain't look at it. Oh, he might have just, I mean, really. And like you know? He say, hold up. But the, but the other side it is, at the end of the day. He don't have to. That nigga might have just wanted You're right. to go on vacation. He might just want to go hang out with the family for the summer. And mm, right. Yeah, I ain't want. You know, because the fact of the matter is, fact of the matter is, Michael Thomas might never be the same Michael Thomas again. He may never be that dude again. Just the thing. I'm yeah. not going. I'm not going. Uh, I can't say We that. moving too far. We, we done said gone. beef. We done said shit going, shit going on behind a nigga having surgery. Frustrated is a strong right. word. Frustrated is frustrated. I'm, I'm, it's not beef. I'm, I'm it's not something's going I'm on. I'm frustrated with you. That's a statement. I'm frustrated. Yeah, that's frustrated. Not, that's that's frustrated. a fucking hell of a statement, though. Frustrated, to be frustrated, kind of does sound like this. Motor. Yeah, like frustrated. Not, when you I, use that I, word, I frustrated, frustrated is tension, though. <laughs> Like, no, that's what you're saying. That don't mean. Fr nothing. Yeah, frustrated I mean, is, is leaning towards. I it's could a be problem. frustrated with my child. I mean, but. Don't but mean I'm about if, to, you, if you start getting frustrated with your child, you then say, it's a little problem but, that needs to be but, fixed. But if you, if you no frustrated or not. If you frustrated with something. Yeah, not frustrated. What about aggravated instead of frustrated? That's two different weights. That's two different weights, though, in my mind. Frustrated. Whole oh, wait, see. I'm trying to fix this shit and I fucking can't. And I can't. 
Because the dude out. I done tried. Whatever. Whatever. He about you done tried. Sean Payton couldn't words. try to do nothing. nothing. He couldn't try to do nothing. He just know, look, when this problem came up, we we could have went on and got the surgery. Michael gonna, Thomas chose gonna, not to. Did I know it was the wrong decision then? No. Sean Payton couldn't know that neither. Well, but our doctors, the staff... No, doctor pay- can't tell you no. What you mean? The fuck these doctors ain't God, nigga? I mean, for surgery and recovery time is surgery and recovery time. Yeah. Right. If you're going to have surgery two weeks before the game, well, you're going to have a lot of surgery recovery. Right. Oh, you really think... That's you know what I'm saying. We made, we made the wrong decision. And that most likely dep- ends on Michael Thomas. He's... He should have had the surgery so he could have been ready right now. But nothing's wrong with that man thinking, look, I'm going to still be ready. I don't need surgery. If that's how he thought, that's how he thought. And that can make Sean Payton frustrated because, damn, I just found out my top wide receiver not going to be here. That's frustrating. And I got three of my doctors. And I, and I, that, that's, you talking about the past or some shit. No, nigga. That's just like that. on that Audi truck. You pull up to the fucking shop right now. Yeah. Oh. You, you oh, get what I'm saying? Knocking, you put some oil in it. all your transmission so fluid, all your transmission fluid just come out here, CD. You oh man, I, I I I I can make it to my house without the transmission fluid. Nigga just told you the mechanic just told you you ain't got no transmission fluid in this bitch, it's, and you still took this bitch to your thing. house. It's the difference. You still went to your house. This ain't your car. That ain't the mechanic car. This Michael Thomas shit. Yeah. And that's why I feel like he tripping. Cause he 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 overdid. Man, fuck all that. I'm, I I I do what I want, and I do what I want cost us five games. Hold on, hold on. So I do what I want cost us five Michael games Thomas, with you. Michael Thomas, when he do that it, I it's do called what I, want, I do what I want. Got you about to miss but some money in football. The thousand people who did this before Michael Thomas. What you mean, how's Michael Thomas? Because he do it, I do what I want. What you what talking about? It don't make all, sense. I think it's all like that when it turns. When, when, yeah, when, I mean, when, yeah. When you, when you finally find out that it's based on a money dispute. And that can't be it because you just got the money. You got the most money out here. <laughs> so that can't be it. You can't ask for more money after you got the most. No. <laughs> it, could, it could be based on rings. could be, I mean, I don't, who knows? None of it right makes now, sense. That's why. It's right about now, who knows. Right now, no, none of it makes sense. None of it makes The only thing that makes it sense is like Sean Payton up. being frustrated because my top receiver not here. Now you just said this shit. They got an article on here. Did Michael Thomas pull the Scotty Pippen? I just said now that. Now, you said no, that. I've been saying. On SB Nation, they got an article Go asking that question. Did he pull Pippen. the Scotty Pippen? What the Scotty Pippen did? When Scotty wanted out. When Scotty, when Scotty, when Scotty went to Portland. Portland. When Scotty went to Portland, but Scotty, Scotty was, on a was bad still. Deal. Man, whatever Scotty was on, Scotty was on. Scotty's getting paid a million a year or something. Scotty signed the contract. This man, the top receiver, he paid. It don't make sense. It don't make sense if you don't want to play the fucking Saints. It makes sense if you don't want to play the That don't make sense. Why not? Why not? Because I'm a pro long this season. We hit. Hold on, hold on, I don't like Jameis Winston. So I don't want to play with you. You go from somebody. Making you the highest paid player, highest paid receiver, or top five highest paid receiver, whatever you is. Because yeah. I shine with a Hall of Famer and he gone now. Retality didn't hit it, huh? man. Do you think another team has said, we'll buy that fucking contract to get you over here? Yeah, but you can't. Why you can't? Because you play for us. You can't just buy a contract. We got to sign off on Yeah, this we got to trade no, no, you. No, no. Yeah, we got to sign the off. But... I mean, okay. Buy it, motherfucker. It's, it doesn't just make sense. Why would it don't make sense? Only thing that makes sense if he really don't want to play for the Saints. Is when you find out what the for real something. deal is, if there's a real deal behind, I, other, other than I was scared of the night or I wanted to spend time with my family. Or I wanted to make sure I could smoke for a little while before I go start fucking with this shit. I mean, he could have a bunch of reasons, but we're going to find out. The most simplest reason that I would think happened is the man thought I can recover and I don't need surgery. And, and that's Just like a right. bunch of people do. And that's valid, right? <laughs> so that Sean Payton, look, Sean Payton brutal, look. Sean Payton brutal honesty highlights his frustration with Michael Thomas' situation. 
Like frustration, that's a strong word, man. Dog. You're reading you're reading somebody what they wrote. They're just reading they're reading, they're they're writing how Sean Payton felt. So Sean that means Sean Payton can't even talk to you. Because you gonna assume Buku other bullshit. The man told you what happened. Now you want him to you wanna say what else happened. He told you he frustrated because the man could have had surgery. And that is what it is. I'm frustrated. That's enough to be frustrated. But I don't think so. All right. See, this why it's fu- this why it's frustrating now. Exactly. Look, I'm re- they, the man probably look, didn't even say he's frustrated. No. They taking that and saying he's this, frustrated. Look, they, look, this this was making this frustrating. Luma said the injury was treated conservatively during the season, had a few issues, and it was decided he would treat it conservatively. And it will heal. He said they collectively made the call to have the surgery in June. After learning it didn't heal when many camp arrived. The nigga still didn't want to go when the people telling you it's not healing, brother. It's not healing. That That's d- why they frustrated with him. No, we telling man. you it's not healing. Listen. And you still didn't go. It's my body. You, you. you Man, what CD. you mean? It, it, you right. It's though. my body. You right, brother. Thomas, he right, and he do whatever he want. I understand. Nigga what told you're him the doctors looked at it and said it it didn't start healing. It's not healing. Like first we say, all right, we're gonna let you heal. We're gonna monitor this all right. conservative. You look at it that way. I'm we come give you back. An we come back on the timetable and the doctor see and tell no, you nobody it's ain't not say nothing about no fucking healing. doctor just not. That's out your mouth. Second of all, this is what he said before mini camp. So that this is what you saying? You're not saying, oh look, your shit should be healed at a certain time. You saying if it ain't ready by mini camp, we need to go ahead with the motherfucking surgery. No, they didn't say that. See, look what that's they what said. you just read. No, look what they said. Listen, no, I'm about to tell you what you just read. You said. We had a timetable. We was going to see if it was going to heal. Then when it came to mini camp, it didn't it wasn't healed or whatever. It, it wasn't, wasn't healed. healed. So we all so collected this out. All right, listen surgery. to me. Listen to me. You trying to base my surgery off of me not being ready for mini camp and saying it's not healed to your thing. That's you. You worry about this. I feel like I'm about to heal. I still going under the knife don't but it's not but, as but easy the, as the, just But the doctors the doctor saying it's not healing. See, they, they didn't say that. Well, who else gonna say it ain't healing? Who else gonna go check it? No, so you said it's not healing. His fucking leg and said, "Oh, this bitch ain't healing yet." No, this who, the saying. doctors had to fucking look at it. See, it don't have to say that in the conversation. Dude said he said they collectively made the call to have the surgery in June after learning. After learning, it didn't heal when minicap arrived. So how they learned that it didn't heal? They got professionals to look at it. It's not healing, brother. Had a surgery. It's just, you just said a difference. You just said it didn't heal to it's not healing. Yeah. That's two different things, my nigga. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It can be healing and not be healed at minicamp. You telling me just because it ain't healed, you want me to have surgery? Nigga, fuck you. You see what I'm saying? That's stupid. How you saying you that's stupid? You fucking the same stuff right now. No, you nigga, you fucking, you fucking me up. My <laughs> opinion, you <laughs> both had a fucking You fucking surgery. me up. Nigga told you the fucking, the people told you the thing ain't healing, had a surgery. Point blank period, man. You wrong after that. No. If, if we came first and you say no, so I don't who you know care about the... more? You are the Saints. If you if we ca- listen, if we came, if who you care about more? Mike, if you Michael Thompson, Michael Thompson or the Saints, nigga? You can't care. You answer the question. You can't care more about yourself. Why you can't? Because you brung your fucking leg in there and they said we gonna see if it's gonna heal. They come back after the timetable and look back at the leg. It's not healing. Had the surgery. So you kept up. What, what, what part of thing. yourself do you fucking care about then? You can't if even the comprehend. The First of all, you're saying something different That your again. fucking leg ain't healing. D, they didn't say that. You keep saying your leg ain't healing. <laughs> they didn't say that, D. They said that bitch ain't healed. No, they didn't say it. That's what you it. just read. Nigga, read it again. <laughs> I'm listening to you. You said the bitch ain't healed. It ain't healed. Not healed. It ain't healed. Yeah, it ain't healed. 
I'm putting ED on it for past tense. It ain't healed. That mean that don't mean it ain't healing. <laughs> that don't mean this bitch ain't better. <laughs> Did they say that? Did they say it didn't get no better, D? No, they didn't say that. They say it's not healed. That bitch ain't healed. They ain't saying that bitch ain't getting better. You know what I'm saying? So you just this is what I'm saying, D. This is what I'm saying. You trying to put your expectations on me because you want me to be ready when you want me to be ready. I want my shit to grow right. I want me to, I want my shit to do right. I'm gonna give it another chance. I'm not saying that this is true, that this was really going on. But that can possibly be what's going on. You can't tell me you would have had no surgery because you want me to be ready by camp, but I know I don't want going to no and it's enough. Basically, time. all this balling down to really how I feel about the situation. Bad fucking decision. Perm blank period. That's that's basically what a nigga been saying yeah, in look, this whole thing. But this bad saying, fucking decision. Who you gonna care about more? Michael Thompson, yourself or the or the program? It was a bad decision. For who? For the Saints. <laughs> All right. It might be a better position for Michael Thomas, though. That's why now, after missing five games, if these wide receivers running routes and shit, honey, somebody wants you, fuck you, buy it. We built you. We draft you in the third round, fuck you, you're gone. Out of here. We're going to build something else. See, all that could come into play now. You fucked us five games, you done missed. We asked you to have the surgery, you ain't want to have it. Oh, you ain't happy here? Fuck you. See, it's going down over there, CD. Ain't no, that ain't no regular see, shit. That's the, what me and Wu saying. That, it can go down that now. Man, Wu By him making that, that bad decision, it can go down. Why, bro? Football players miss games. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You acting like this is the end of the world. Football players miss games every year. What the fuck? Every year, niggas miss it. Not like that. Yeah. Not, not with that, them type of disputes. See, not with them type of disputes. Yeah, not with them type of disputes, see? Not like that. Niggas miss games and shit. This is my first time really, you know, could remember hearing uh, even a story like this where the team and the boom and the nigga wasn't ready and the boom and it, like, you know, I'm pretty sure this is going on and it, it happened a lot, but I don't remember is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't happening. know about it. I don't. I, I can't recall <coughs> nobody going through this. You can't. You just... It's not, not this that caliber important. of player. What you mean? It happened all the time. Did Emmitt Smith do it? Emmitt Smith? I'm not sure. But look at Joel Embiid. He could have had surgery, but no. He Tom passed. Brady did it. It's happening all the time. But it was during the season where he still can play on it. This is even better. It's in the fucking off season. Let me heal. You keep telling me about surgery. Let me heal. That's even worse. What the fuck? You can't be that mad at me because I thought I can heal before having surgery. I ain't gonna lie. This whole conversation sucks. You know Michael Thomas, though. I don't know him at all. Shit. I'm a Saints fan. Yeah. You know Michael Thomas fan. I fuck with Michael Thomas, but he know he nowhere near the best receiver I ever saw in my life or something. I say that, but one thing I did pull from this conversation is I'm I'm trying to take up for the man. Because I feel like I feel like we shitting on him, and the man ain't even the man just said he ain't had surgery, and now he had. He made a bad decision. See, it's a bad decision now. Necessarily shitting on the man, but what I'm saying, regardless of what he's saying, what I'm just simply saying is, if you got a whole summer to have surgery and have time to recover and possibly make it for the first regular season game, that's something to shoot for. Or, I, for some reason, CD, whatever you can come up with, for, for some reason, I decide I'm going to wait and hold out. And when the people do say, go do it, I'm still going to wait another month or so before I actually do it. Because they was telling me at the last basically moment, if I don't do it at that moment, I'm definitely not going to play the first regular season game. But I'm, for some reason, I'm just going to wait, scared of the night, Whatever. I'm just going to wait and hold out. But now it's like, fuck. If I don't get this shit done, I might not play at all this year. Now I got to go. So now it's going to cost because I waited that extra month after the people said to go do it. 
for whatever your reason won't be. And you like that bad maybe decision, you, he feel it. He feel it. Maybe you scared he, of you know, He maybe feel maybe it. Maybe you scared of the knife. Whatever the nah. reason is, it just looks suspect. And who? When you lo- allow that gap and know we got football games to try and win. Why would you not want to be there to win football games? Maybe you just wanted to go on vacation. Maybe, maybe you, you don't want to be here. Home. Maybe you don't want to be at the same See, anymore. maybe you don't want to be here. Do I'm a pro it. I'm going to keep myself do. healthy, and I'm going to check out of here. Or maybe he got info that, look, this surgery, man, it'd be fucking you up. Maybe, I, I didn't want to have it. That too. Maybe that too. Well, we ain't saying that. None of no. y'all saying that. No, we trying to bring up all of the different scenarios. To just we just saying say it's fucked up. We this little bit of situation could be some shit. It could, to it me, could be some shit, I don't look at it like shit, that. Dog. When I saw he was, he was going to miss a month or something, obvious, I'm like, old fucking K. Over the last 31 minutes is that you clearly believe that yeah, it's, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Right. And it is. It's really no big deal. deal. But because this is why I'm looking at it like that. Deal. Because right. so players are going to miss, about miss games. Five so, games. And, and yet, and you go miss games. If you go out across the, across the middle and a nigga knock your fucking block off, you might miss a couple of games, right? But if you on a motherfucking beach twiddling your broke fucking toes, looking at the motherfuckers thinking, well, damn, I wonder if I should have surgery on these motherfuckers, and then you wait, well, why did you make that decision? Was it because you were just thinking you were going to heal? Or did you <laughs> deliberately be. wait so you could miss some games? Hey, look. And until you sit in the contract. Did board, they add another game this year? Yeah. Look. We played 17 hey, games this year. I wouldn't be surprised these dudes want to miss some games. Hey. You I know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be neither. We out there, out there killing their fucking body hey, and all that. Look. I wouldn't either. Man, look. I wouldn't either. I'm, I'm going to miss the first four games and I'm going to come back after the first five games. Yeah. Man, look. Hey, and at the end of the day, you know what, you know what that means? That means that the players feel like. These motherfucking backups need to learn how to win games. And we do. Oh, Especially the Saints. Mm. So that's why, right. who, who, fuck, who panicking? It mad, who? Personally? Now let me tell you how I feel personally about it. Sit your fucking ass down. Because now <laughs> we get to see how much of your, your credit belongs to Drew Brees for well-played ball. Let's do that. And, and Sean Payton for getting you open. Let's do getting that. Getting these balls to your fucking ass. Man, look, oh, dog, I ain't seen I'm not taking I ain't nothing from Michael Thomas. He's catching balls in, with no big spaces in between him and wide receivers. He's catching balls with cornerbacks on top He of do his thing. He for sure do his oh, thing. Oh, he do his thing. Now, I ain't about to take nothing from Michael Thomas. Yeah, he playing with Drew Brees, so, yeah, people might. Uh, 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 but look, dude going to do his thing, man. Hey, do it then. I must, and look, no we know he gonna do his thing. So go no ahead, miss the first four, five, six no, weeks. I don't know Let them other dudes come in that in that fire with right. Jameis, get right, wooty woo, ease no. Michael Thomas back in, no. be healthy for the. See, but to he's too good, good to be like, be oh, let him let miss these certain amount of games. That nigga cold, son. Huh? We, uh, we can't. We Drew Brees miss games. We can't do nothing we about it. Like we got yeah, Brady. we could have did something about it. Had a surgery, nigga. He had Brandon Cooks and couldn't do shit with it. That's the past, man. The we man didn't had a surgery. You know, you know before, before Michael Thomas or whoever said, look, he gonna end up having a surgery. You know what them people was probably thinking? Michael Thomas must be good. Because he didn't have a surgery and he didn't have it. Whenever they found out he was going to have a surgery, yesterday, today, two days ago, up until then, they, they had to be like, yeah, Michael Thomas must be straight. He must be working out. He must be good. Woo, dee, woo, dee, woo. Right. Michael Thomas could have felt the same way, too. Fuck, I'm good. But when the doctors the, I, took the look at it, you're not good. You keep saying no, that. You know, that. That the, was, that the was people two had to ago. look at it, though. And he didn't. Right. But I'm saying, who's to say that he was supposed to be healed at this time? Y'all put mini camp and me being healed. When we in the check same this sentence. leg out, see, we suggest you have a surgery. Yeah, That's yeah. all I'm saying. You know why though? So I can be ready by the beginning of the season. And I understand. It's from the Saints' point of view. We need you to be ready. Right. Now this is my body. He don't want to be ready. It's not that I want I think I'm gonna be ready healing. We got a long time. 
yeah, this is like the last time I need to, for me to get the surgery for me to be right at week one. But damn, this surgery might fuck me up. This might shorten my career. It might do other things. You see what I'm saying? So that's not that might not be the simplest um, question to ask or decision to make. You see what I'm saying? It's not might might not be the simplest decision to make. It's not simple at all. That, all I'm all. saying is, the Saints right now with this little shit with Michael Thomas, they in a little pickle right now. No pickle, man. Yes. You know what he's saying? They in you know a little pickle saying? right now, son. Because it could be, it it could be three different saying. crucial things. I hope it ain't shit. It could be what you saying. You right. Man, I'm scared to have this surgery, bro. Everybody who they done did this to, man, certain people ain't, you know, man, if I could hear that, man, I'm going to hear that, man. All right, he probably was thinking like that. All right. Man, Breeze gone. You know what I'm saying? Tamp in the division. I don't think you worry about no Breeze gone, bro. I think he could do better with other people. This nigga James garbage. What if he feel like Ain't no I way. can't listen. What if he feel like I can't do it with Jameis Winston he and not, Tyreek he Hill? He's not Michael Thomas. You're not one of the best receivers in the league. Who the fuck gonna think that? Like, think 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 San Julio thinking that. Devontae Adams thinking that. Deion, don't even mention DeAndre Hopkins because he didn't have Julio me got out of that. there. I can't do it with him no more. <coughs> Time for me to go. That man been in the league forever, man. DeAndre had different quarterbacks still every fucking the year. He's number five receiver in the league right now. He's top notch. You can't knock that. You're right. Jameis ain't about to knock you from getting being top notch. I'm not saying that, but what if he feel like... That would be stupid, D. Jameis It's ain't, like we yeah. ain't going to just go and see... Right. Impossible. What? In, Impossible to me. Nah, nah. You know why? Because I throw the ball and you catch that bitch. You feel me? That's some, that's. I could go right now and sling this bitch to, to Michael Thomas. Fucking chemistry, this bitch about to go right by your fucking hands. You better catch this motherfucker. See, when these D linemen and shit come in and it's timing and. I'm just saying. Of course, they need chemistry to be on a top level. Duh. I'm just saying, though. Ain't no way you just like, yeah, this nigga can't even throw me the ball. Man, it's James Winston. Remember, man. he was at practice with this nigga every day for a whole year. And he I'm might have studied I'm this nigga sure and felt like, I don't fuck with him. We don't know. You can't say you he pretty sure you fucking that, with him. How? What you mean? That's that's the nigga throwing me the ball. I better fuck with him. How I better fuck with him? How you think, how you think, salary. How you think niggas beef? How you think niggas be feeling like, I don't fuck with this quarterback? Nigga, we saw it. Donovan McNabb, Terrell Lawrence. And what's going on? You better throw this bitch this week. A one in a million. We ain't never see it no more after that. when you don't? You know, them top, them top receivers got a lot of times that diva type of attitude. Yeah, they, they deal with this. I mean, I got they deal with this. And I don't, think, I don't even get diva out of Michael Thomas, man. Hold up. You ain't got, you, I don't get it out of him. I don't get it, no diva out of him like uh, that. No, no, I don't get it out of him like that, but I do see it in him. I do see his flamboyance and his shine. So he got it. Damn, like what a, this I'm man be dog. humble. Dog. He don't really do much. Dog. And then come to play. Uh uh-uh, he dog. cocky. He cocky and arrogant. Come on. I, 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 I you, never saw if this. You, if you don't Side see it, you don't want to see it. Mm-hmm. That's what I know. Michael Thomas. Based on all your comments, you don't want to see nothing. Michael Tom. Michael Tom, Tom, what this man, this man don't celebrate, like, Dog, he don't, going, I don't going. see what the arrogance Dog, in the, really in the cockiness I'm, with somebody I'm, I'm who don't even do gonna, nothing. I'm going to go into detail like that because it's just something that people see in people, right? It's what about Alvin Kamara? He's I'm very good. humble with it too, but he's more, a little bit more flamboyant and shiny. And, and, um. And I feel like he's. Humble as a motherfucker, too. But, I, but my point was just that in order sometimes to hold these positions as a top wide receiver, it's that attitude. So I'm saying, what happens when you can't get the ball like you want to get the ball? Do you get frustrated? He ain't never had been. Because I see why I was <laughs> Yeah, because you used to catching 100 balls. Fuck, he ain't never had not, But listen, you might not catch 100 balls. You might not catch 100 balls with Winston. Yeah. 
Don't throw Randy Moss know. the ball. That nigga almost caught 200 balls. He got the record. How long do you think Randy Moss going to run routes for you if you don't hit him the ball every time? You would want to hit Randy Moss. If you don't, how long do he stay? Listen, Randy Moss and Oakland. Randy Moss and Oakland didn't want to play. How many teams Randy Moss Yeah, he didn't want to play. But look, now look. Randy Moss is the nigga, right? Moss just played for listen, three teams. Huh? Yeah, listen, though. He should have just one, played for one and retired. Listen, happened? listen. He's so great. Listen, he went to Oakland, right? He when, he to went to, when he went to Oakland, I want to say he was in between, like, his 10th, ninth. He was in between, like, his ninth to 11th year when he went to Oakland. He was over there. I forgot how long he was over there. Everybody rolled him all washed up. Don't got him no more, right? Went with Tom Brady, right? Broke all the wide receiver records. When they say he was washed up. Some shit, I feel like Julio could come cut up right now and be the number one receiver in the league, and you can't tell me nothing. If a nigga walk in this bitch right now and come on the podcast and be like, yeah, we, who the best receiver, bro? Man, I think Julio the best in the league. I can't argue with him. Sure can. Because sure I feel like Julio at 100%. Talent. Can't nobody in the Talent. league still fuck with him right now. He really is still the best wide receiver in the league. If he ain't hurt, he the best wide receiver in the league. He 4-3, run all the routes on the tree, short routes, everything. Ain't What Julio can't do. So it's like, you know, DK Metcalf, them all y'all good. Y'all on the ride. But DK Metcalf, you know. For one night, uh, for you know, for the you know, for you no, know, I still don't want you over Julio, boy. Cause you don't know all the tricks yet. Rams and them and shit still gonna get in your head and really know how to trick you and shit. You gonna be I'm, good. I'm fucking with uh DeAndre. Him too, but the reason why I still give Julio <coughs> the edge on it, the home fucking run, the 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 pull away and burn your shit. Hopkins, I'm not taking nothing away from his speed. Nothing. But he keep fucking you up with that route tree. He's something like a Reggie Wayne, you know. Yeah, they gon' they just they gon' they gon' they gon' they gon' he he Reggie Wayne, but with somebody else when it come to catching that bitch. But but he remind me of Reggie Wayne with everything else he do, but he just on another level with catching that bitch than than, than Reggie. You know what I mean? But so so all right. Since you want me that compare, he not better than Julio. Julio run right, four so three. He won Julio, four, four five. Julio better than Jerry Rice? Just cause he, <laughs> he can got a little bit more breakaway speed. Not That's just, a fuck no. No, not not just. You should have said yeah. fuck no though. Yeah, you should have fuck no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jerry Rice, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, Jerry Rice. Rice. <laughs> it was his route running basically. I'm saying so you can't say DeAndre not better than somebody because no that, I, I mean that's your I opinion feel like that can be why I would that can be why I, I, I mean I can give you that why that's why it could be I the same and take he a little Julio. faster but I'm taking DeAndre I think DeAndre he not better than Julio you know, no, he, you know it no, ain't no, no who better and all that and, and it's not close see. That would out like that's how great Julio is. Like I look at Julio as like a a a, a LeBron in his position or something. I like Julio, 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 Julio is great to me. That's why De- Julio That's crazy that he though. said it's not close, because it's definitely close. And DeAndre can probably have a better career than this boy. And right, man, DeAndre can possibly have a better career than Julio. And be a better he can be a better receiver. It's, it's crazy that he says it's not close. Julio that had the better the Super Bowl and everything with a MVP throwing him the ball. Who the fuck DeAndre had throwing him the ball? I don't know if you can name his quarter. Nah, just I, I always think. Who the fuck he Matt yeah. Shop, right. one of the calls or something, I don't know. Right, right, right. That's about that. That's just that's all. You know, what he had DeAndre for one year? He in, he got Kyler Murray now, nah, Arizona. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, oh, man, we 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 spent a lot of time fucking around with Michael Thomas fucking ass. But bitch, you better you better. Uh, <laughs>
You know, I've been taking Rico, up for you, Big Round. Coach look good, man. Yeah, man. I mean, no <laughs> niggas on your neck because you, you ain't sick. You know it's like right. war and shit and right. beef. All right. All right. You we know. Love you, Mike. Yeah, right, Mike. Mike. We hope you. We, we hope you. We hope See, right. Julio Jones, he only played nine more games than DeAndre Hopkins. So, they stats like, they stats like the same because uh, games started. Julio, 134. DeAndre Hopkins, 126. So he started eight more games than him. Uh, targets. Julio got 1,300 targets. DeAndre Hopkins got 1,200 targets. Receptions. Julio got 848. DeAndre got 747. We know Julio missed more games than DeAndre Hopkins. Miss more games. Hold on, hold on. Time out. They just, you just said they started 134 and 126. Yeah. What you talking about? Who missed more games? Right, right, right. Fuck, it's eight games right there. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. So, <laughs> 50, yeah, I'm tripping. Yards per reception, Julio, 15 yards per reception. DeAndre, 13 yards per reception. Receiving touchdowns, 60 apiece. <coughs> Uh, Sound like DeAndre winning to me. Yeah, you ain't got no wrong. Receiving <laughs> yards per game, this is where the big old difference at. One of the best in NFL history. 95 yards per game. Julio. Hopkins, 79 yards a game. It's not that big of a deal though. That's the that's a big old deal. I mean it is. 95 and it 79. Is. But we didn't already established that the quarterback situation. Yards from scrimmage, 13,000 Julio, 10,000 DeAndre. Fumbles, 11 Julio, 10 DeAndre. Playoff stats, Julio, 8 games, DeAndre, 4. Julio got 61 playoff receptions with 834. DeAndre got 8 less games, tied in touchdowns. Julio, DeAndre. six playoff <coughs> touchdowns. DeAndre Hopkins, one. <coughs> How many? Six. How many DeAndre got? Four. One. Reception per game in the playoffs, seven. Julio, five. DeAndre. Receiving yards per game in the playoffs, Julio, 104 a game. Yeah, he had an MVP at quarterback, too. Yeah. DeAndre bad to get into the playoffs. And when he get there, he getting quadruple teams and shit. Like, all right, best season stats. They are gonna see who did like the best season. Julio best, mo he played all the games in 2018. DeAndre Hopkins played all the games in 2020. Receptions. Julio best year was 2015. He had 106, I mean, he had 136 receptions. Mm -hmm. DeAndre best year was last year, 2020, 115. Boom. Julio, the most yards he ever had in the season, 1,871 <laughs> yards. Wow. Boom. DeAndre, the most he had, 1,572. Yeah, Julio had a bigger year for That's sure. That's their Super Bowl year. He went clean out. When Matt Ryan won the MVP and they went to the Super Bowl, That's 2015. He went clean up. Oh, woo. They're showing, they, they're comparing their best years. Julio in 2015 was his best year in receptions, 136. DeAndre in 2020 had 115. Their best year were receiving yards. Julio had 1871. DeAndre Hopkins had 1572 in 2018. That was his high. Yards per reception a game in 2011, Julio averaged 17 per eight yards a catch. In 2014, DeAndre Hopkins averaged 15.9 a catch. Julio best year with touchdowns was 10. In 2012, DeAndre, DeAndre best year with touchdowns, he got him in that was 13 in 2017. He caught for 13 touchdowns. Reception long, Julio got an 89, I mean, 81 yard reception. Yep. DeAndre Hopkins got a 76 yard reception. I think the quarterback difference play a big part in them two. Yeah, them niggas damn it close. Receiving yards per game, this was 
sick. I think that's what he got number one in NFL history. I know he got something that's number one. And I and this looking this gotta be it to me. In 2015, man, Julio averaged 117 yards a game from receiving. 116 per nine. Yeah, 1,800 yards. Yeah, he averaged 117 yards a game. DeAndre Hopkins' best year was 98 Devontae had something like that last year, I think. I think Devontae had something about 1,800. They got him ranked the number one receiver in the league right now. Yards from scrimmage, 2015, 18, 71. 50 and, and 18, DeAndre Hopkins had 15, 65. Yeah, but like I said, who, you know, who do you play eight more games than him? That's why I said they, they, they stats like identical. They stats like one had 10 quarterbacks, one had two. Really, fuck one. Matt I'm, Ryan the whole I'm gonna, time. I'm, keep it real. I'm biased. Um, <coughs> and I mean, of course, Julio. He's a, he's not a super freak. So he's he one, A, B, C. So he's in the one. <laughs> he ain't like you just better than Julio, no. But DeAndre, I'm gonna give him a little bit more respect for what he do. Um, we've been on this Saints for a minute. To this uh. To the other teams in the NFL, man. Cleveland, bro. Say, bro. Something. Something that got that win over there in Cleveland, boy. Cleveland looking good all over the board, though. Just all over, though. The defense. You know, people say Nick Chubb, the number two running back in the league. They say Derrick Henry, then him. Number two running back in the league, but they got Kareem Hunt. Fuck. He can start, he can start for half the league. That wasn't Nick Chubb. Nah, Nick Chubb. They got him. Alvin Kamara. No, they got Alvin Kamara, number five. Not the only one you sent me. But you know they were Nick Chubb, that nigga. It was Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, two. Nick Chubb was like four or five or something. No, like Dalvin that. Cook was in front. Dalvin Cook and Chubb was in front of Kamara. We was talking about this earlier because Nell and them were saying he don't think somebody in the house is saying they think could they put Kamara over Chubb. I'm like, you crazy, boy? Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, Dalvin Cook, Nick Chubb, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll be remembering uh, shit, though. Yeah, and look, you know what I was saying? See, my order will be different. I got McCaffrey it number is, one, yeah, Chubb. I got McCaffrey, McCaffrey Chubb. Not better than no motherfucking Derrick Henry. Though. I think McCaffrey is. I want the style of offense I run and shit. The what the type of offense I what run. The fuck? I don't want a Derrick Henry. I was talking about that earlier. Nothing against Derrick Henry. That's just like the Greek freak. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I don't want him no. If I can pick, if I can pick thing. from that. If I can pick from not that, the same thing, I don't want it. It's the same it's thing. Not the same you thing. can't run. Fuck if, no. You have to run the football. Spe- he got twenty-two positions. Man, man. you crazy? You got to run a specific fucking system for Derrick Henry, man. Derrick Henry got. Derrick Henry would not fit in Kansas City offense. He wouldn't fit in it. He wouldn't fit in their style of play. I didn't say he wouldn't do good in it. He wouldn't be the Derrick Henry in Tennessee, getting the ball three hundred and eighty times a, a season, getting that bitch. 31 and 32 times a game. That's Derrick Henry game. You can't run that in every offense. See, I don't want that. I respect it to the fullest. I don't want it, do. That's all I'm saying. I want McCaffrey, the Camaras, the Nick Chubbs, Zeke Elliott. I want all them over him. My opinion. I want all them over him because I could throw it to him. Because I could throw it you to know, him. You know what they got in common? Because I could throw it to him. That's all. Cause they can throw it, see? You know what all of them got a conversation that hearing. That hearing that bitch going right there by that Super Bowl every year. <laughs> the mother motherfuckers badly making the playoff or just getting there. Right. You feel me? Wait, you stick with them. I'm just talking about the I'm position. Fuck with Derrick Henry. I, ain't, I ain't talking about the success. It's the position. You know why the they position. bitch? You know why he carried thirty two times? Cause he the best fucking running back out here. We can give him the ball. We can win games doing it. You talking about I, I a role player? The best bag in the league. I ain't talking about a role player. I mean, it's hard to see, you know. I was I'm a big Leonard fan. Fuck you from now here. You one of the best ever. You know, come through our city. 
I was always on Leonard's side because they come out together, him and uh, Derrick Henry. And Delvin Cook. It's, it was like, it's no way. And I ain't respect Delvin Remember Cook like that. Remember when I told you Delvin I heard the announcer? I said, see, I'm watching this shit with Leonard. Just at the time when they coming out of high school. I said, see, they got this nigga in Florida that they say, you know, he on the Florida State. I said, man, these people saying he better than Leonard. He was the number two nigga. Leonard was the number one player. Dalvin Cook was the number two. I'm talking about overall player. I ain't talking about the running back position. Leonard was number one. Dalvin Cook was number two in the country. Two running backs. And Derrick Henry couldn't be too far. He was. He had to be up there too. Yeah, ranking. he came right behind him. He yeah. went to Bama. Yeah. <coughs> but I always like, man, Leonard better than Derrick Henry that day, you know. Look, then it got a little bit more shake and with nigga, him. And niggas say this don't be mattering. Just, you know, it do matter. These rankings be, you know, this Madden shit. It just come out the D. Top running backs in the league. They got McCaffrey number one. McCaffrey 9 and 7 overall on that thing right now. McCaffrey was 9 and 9 overall on Madden last year. They got him the best back in the league. They got Derrick Henry number two. That's the Madden right here. See what I'm saying? Who number three? Chuck. Then Cook, then Kamara five. That's what I mistake that list I sent them to him. I mistaked it for this one. You know? I mean, I fucks with McCaffrey. You knew that. But come on, man. Just like you're like, you can laugh, you know, you'll laugh at me. He ain't do nothing yet in the league. Ain't too many of them boys better than Saquon Barkley, boy. See, I know talent when I see it. He could be the best back in the league right now. I just heard somebody say that. Him right now could come right now and within week eight, you nigga saying, lie. nigga saying he the best back in the league. Well, he got the talent. <laughs> but see, but running back to me is different. It's not about your outside, your, it's your durability. ability. What make it ain't just about durability. Because look at Emma Smith, bro. That dude was like 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Played the most games. Played, you know, but... He ain't flashy, nothing, but look, he got he got 160 yards a night, mm-hmm. two touchdowns. It ain't all about that. It ain't about what you could say, Quan Ball. The he whole built like line a goddamn. Went to the Hall of Fame. It'll never happen again. I feel you. The guard, the tackle, the center. I feel the, you. Yeah, the tight end. I feel you. The fullback. But still. Everybody went to the Hall of Fame. But still, but look, but time <laughs> out. Time out. He wasn't better than you, Thurman. But time he out. He wasn't better than Thurman Thomas. But look, you couldn't just put anybody there and think it was going to end up with oh, Emmitt no. numbers. Oh, no. Uh, 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 Emmitt was Emmitt, cold. Emmitt made them niggas go yeah. to the Hall of Fame, too, now. <laughs> he ain't just. Oh, yeah. Emmitt, you, was the, you was the little home, man. Yeah. We got the big dogs up here. Oh, yeah. it wouldn't be no Michael Irvin if it wasn't for Emmitt. Michael Irvin was getting the one-on-one coverages and shit because nigga yeah, knew. Yeah, yeah. So, I like the Thurman, though. Saquon, more of a Barry, Barry Sanders, Sanders type player. Barry Sanders, one of the best ever. Tanners, for sure. But All right. they had the Emmitt Smiths. They had the motherfucking... Who else? I mean, it was... A, I it was, was, it was Emmitt Thurman. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Eric Dickerson, yeah, you know the I one. mean, in that time, just saying, when they was in the league, right, then and there. Oh, yeah, whenever they, it was him and Thurman. Mm-hmm. It was him and Thurman. Him, Thurman, and Barrett. That was the three best niggas in the league. Him, Barrett. Thurman. You know, Thurman done went to four straight Super Bowls. See, niggas still don't be talking about that. I know they ain't win nothing, exactly. but that Buffalo team changed the game, too, with Jim Kelly and them. They started running the running gun off. They were the first team with the heavy up offense, the Buffalo Bills. No huddle, no huddle. Jim Kelly and them came with the no other shit. Running the spread, but handing it to Thurman out the shotgun. So, so yeah, though, but <coughs> McCaffrey, yeah, he may have a few more skills than Hint Derrick Henry. But Derrick Henry, the best running back. So in the I league. said, I respect your mind. Like, with, with that situation with the running backs in the NFL, if you feel like, you know, you I go with Henry. You can't go wrong with him, right? Like, you know I mean? If you had to build a team. But if you like you to had throw to pick the ball. Running back first. If you had to throw the ball, you, you got to have a fire back up. They got him a nice look back up running back. You got to have this third down back. This is a scat back. Who you could ready? come? No. You got to have that with my. So. But Derrick Henry ain't in the passing game like that. He ain't. You know why we ain't got to? He could to. come block his ass it's off. third and Pass one. Pass protection. <laughs> it's third and one. <laughs> we ain't passing this bitch. We got Derrick Henry. Look, we boy. passed that bitch on first down. That's about it. Yeah. I knew After that, he getting four yards. He getting five yards. I knew somebody got a bet, right? 
They bet a hundred dollars prop bet right now that the Rams and the Titans playing the Super Bowl pay nine bands. A uh, hundred dollars. That can happen. It's not gonna happen. I mean, that's the highest likely thing I think. Yeah. Me this year. Yeah. I think Tennessee been peeking at it. Tennessee like the Milwaukee or the NFL right now to me. It's similar to how Milwaukee just kept winking at that bitch, winking at that bitch. But, you know, they running into Kansas City, came back on him when he was up 21 nothing. you know. Like, they've been having that, their eyes on Not the prize. Not a bitch Julio? Yeah, they've been having their eyes on the prize, dog. It's going to be hard for I any. I fucked Ryan Tannehill, too. Listen, it's going to be hard for anybody in the AFC <coughs> to beat that. So, they got a shot to win the AFC. Now, winning the bowl, another thing, but he ain't got him to win the bowl. He just got them to go. The Rams, all right, they're only giving up 9 to 12 points a game, and now you gave them 21 to 27 points a game. You just gave them with the quarterback. They, so, they scary. They scary. That, Rams going to be hard to beat. That's a good bet, $100 you like, nine bands. Saints, baby. The Saints are nothing. We gotta I'm be a fan of the league. You know it's Saints, Saints. Saints gonna be good enough it's to make Saints. it to the Super Bowl. Sure. We the Saints. This is, we gonna be good enough. Jameis Winston gonna be the MVP this year. Like some people may think that's crazy, but no, that could happen. A hundred dollars get you, you ten know? stacks if you if you take him right now to lead the league in passing yards. Where is it? At the Hollywood Casino. He for sure gonna get most improved player. I could, I could, I could. I mean, because you come from or whatever that award is. I think um, Teddy got it too. But running back a cripple, because I'm back player, come I'm, back player or whatever. But, uh, you like your boy from Alabama, Jacobs, Josh J. Oakland. Yeah. What about him? Dude, nice. He got potential. Yeah, like Josh J. with dog man. This tough runner, but dog. What they gonna do with the hundred million dollar coach? I don't know what they gonna do, bro. I ain't they sure. fucked up, right? Huh? And now we're fucking Khalil, with Cub. Man. I think Cub, I like Cub, bro. Right? Even though you know, I don't know <coughs> what's going on with him. You know, he got to get him a target, but he got that boy from Alabama now. He got him a Tyreek Hill now. They gave you a little preview last year. Rugs was a little rookie. Rugs something serious. Lee gonna be straight, and man. boy, Miami. I told you I like Miami. Miami, Miami is quarterback play away from the Super Bowl. Yeah, you know Miami, they quarterback play away. If they get their quarterback play together, they got a top five defense with everything on the offense. Boy, fucking um, what's your boy name from Frisco? Boy, Raheem Most. He had nine to seven speed on the man. He running four. He running four three or some shit. He the fastest back in the league right now. They got him. They got Devontae Parker here, number receiver. He remind me of Thomas with the boy from Green Bay. All three of them the same person to me. Devontae Parker, the boy. Uh, Devontae Adams. Yeah, he play. He play like Adams and Michael Thomas. Devontae Parker. He put. He making the Pro Bowl and shit with right. Miami. I feel you. nobody play like Devontae do. Yeah, he's it's smooth. Different. Silk is smooth, just like that one. They're similar. They similar. I mean, you know, Devontae kind of unorthodox in his game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He run, he do shit different. Like, he don't look like no regular receiver. He definitely don't look like Michael Thomas. Yeah, he plays similar to him. He plays similar to them guys. Boy, that nigga Devontae Parker, cool. I ain't talking about Paul because I ain't check him out like that. The Pro Bowl really in Miami, fucking. we going to Oh, he, I know he a dog, <laughs> yeah. but I ain't sure his movements. Like, I know Devontae movements. You know, that was Lamar he Jackson. Different. Louisville. He different. I'm that was Devontae him and Devontae Parker. Parker. Lamar I just can't. Jackson, I know right. Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas move. They all, slick they all it. them route niggas. They, 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 they got, like, just like on the game, them three, they got the same abilities. They got the they got that route tree shit. They they all run routes. Great. They all not the fastest niggas, and they run good routes. I just, that's what I'm saying. I just know Devontae different with it. Like he, Devontae Adams. He don't like, do shit like a receiver. You know right now that he the best receiver in the league. They went ask Gilmore them the cornerbacks and everything. That's what I'm saying. Niggas is saying Tate and D Hop. That's what they saying. 
Tandy Hop. But, you know, niggas know Julio. Fucking right, Julio. Bust your ass. This is what I feel like about Julio, how he got his respect in the game. Nigga know he the best, so they bring up the conversation about everybody else. It's something like LeBron. When niggas go to feeling like KD the best in the league right now, but the niggas in the league you know who the best nigga in the league, yeah. Fuck these regular season stats and shit. When it's time for the money, nigga know who the best nigga in the league still. Brian, but like Julio. Julio. That shit hard at receiver though, man. Cause look, how you gonna tell Odell you better than Odell? And they got him ranked cold, like number so. seven right now. Like, you know, you can't tell DeAndre you better than them. You can't tell Julio you better than them. You know, a receiver game is a little different. And guess what? What may sound crazy? Receiver, the receiver, so the receiver position so crazy. The best niggas in the league go up and down every year because that's the most active position in football. That's who getting the ball the most. Them niggas. So I wish I could have threw that Tony Brown name in there. Yeah, I fucks with that boy. I fuck with the dude. But I'm gonna tell you, sir. They got two young niggas that real, real soon they're going to be top five in the league. Chase and Jefferson. Chase and Jefferson, next year they could be saying, yeah, this guy, he top five in the league. Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. He didn't already kill. Chase got to come do it this year. Jefferson broke Randy Moss records. That nigga caught for 1,300 and something yards in Brooklyn. I'm going to let you boys, man. <laughs> they going to cut up. Chase going to cut up. I see that. Chase different, man. You seen the pass Burrow throw to him the other day? He snagged that bitch. Yeah, one hand. Burrow threw him a pass. Huh? Lafayette route. The fade route. I seen him look. About to be picture. Bad, bad. I go and Liz the other day. I look up. They got the whole shelf. The authentic. The chase is in there. In the Lakeside Mall right now. The number one chase Cincinnati jersey is on the shelf <clears throat> right now. But I ain't see that Leonard Seven dude said it should be coming. And it, it's going to come before football season. I asked the dude. And I said, what's up with that Leonard? That number seven. Dude, like, it's going to come before the... That's what's up, you know, the players could wear the single digit numbers this year. So I, I ain't been on jerseys in years. I'm gonna give me two, three of them this year just because the players changed their numbers. Shit, shit. Shit, I got I got key naming, Pat Peterson. The skilled players could change their numbers to single digits and shit. Shit they couldn't really do no. Shit they never could do. You know Deion Sanders number one number two. They begged to wear that in the NFL. They told him no. DeAndre Hopkins used to wear like a number one for Michigan back in the day. College, you could do it though. College, you do it. When he went to the NFL, he ended up with like 83 or something. He you talking about talking Desmond about Howard? Desmond Howard. Man. He wore 81 in, 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 for Green Bay. But he wore, Howard, he wore 20. Two, no, he wore 21 for, for Michigan. What Charles Wilson wore two? Wore two, I think. Yeah. He, he wanted to wear two in the league. Could wear. Like Pat Peterson, who wore seven for LSU. He won seven for Minnesota this year. Randy Moss won number eight, I think, huh? No, Randy Moss won 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 eight and one in college. He won eight and one in college. Chad Pennington was his quarterback, yeah. who played for the Jets. Yeah, I Chad thought, Pennington. I thought he wore single digit, but it might be eight. And a uh, um and a guy from down here, you probably never would have knew. I know you always heard of Sharon Kerry. Yeah. From Shaw, the Kerry boy, they was going to the dome. They couldn't beat LSU. His brother, Brandon Kerry, the running back, he was the starting running back on that team. It was him, Brandon Kerry, Randy Moss, throwing it all over. But you know, imagine that Randy Moss was supposed to be on that team with Charlie Ward and at Florida State. He got put off the team. Imagine that. <sighs> imagine well, that. It's crazy when you put all these just crazy. Athletes together like that. Randy Moss like a 
Yeah. Like Usain Bolt, so you just don't <laughs> see. Like, you know, like, you see, like how does man look like that? Like, I re- that's my era. I remember when Moss come in the league, like, tan shit up. Like, that's man so fast, and he don't miss nothing. He catch it like he just catching the some shit that just sticks like, in your hand. Like, it's, like, just so easy, like, listen, you know? Son, that shit just came natural. <laughs> like, they just come out with the little show. After the game, after every Sunday, they come out with the You Got Mouse now, but I remember, like, mousing niggas and shit. Like, I remember, like, <laughs> mousing niggas. Like, man, niggas just mouse that boy. Like, yeah, like son, <coughs> mouse. <coughs> see, but, see, that's a hard debate with him and Jerry. I be feeling like though when niggas be getting on me, dog. Wait, this is a debate with Randy Moss. It's a debate with Randy Moss and T O, cause the numbers, dog. T O be like put them bitches together. I could I could talk to Jerry and I could talk to Randy. <laughs> T O and you could pull them numbers up. T O, dog. They gotta respect it. T O. He never disappointed he never me when it didn't matter. His I teams like, just couldn't get over the hump. Oh, three of them. They, you see what he did in that Super Bowl with a metal plate in his leg? Against New England? And they got beat off a 53-yard field goal from Adam Vinatieri. 53-yard walk-off field goal, man. Yeah, dude, cut up. Donovan McNabb puss ass was throwing up in the huddle. And I, <laughs> we got to cut that out. But yeah, yeah man, Donovan McNabb was throwing That's up. That's crazy. Cause see, bro. The more the cats, for sure, they going to go Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. We ain't see enough of Jerry. But I'm, pre- I'm, I'm, I'm most certainly that he had to be just crazy with it, with this getting open shit, shit and all right. that. Like, you know, hands all, all, you know, all the meter. But I wonder... I wonder on some receiver expert shit if Randy Moss lived up to Jerry Rice type shit in the, like how Moss could do it. I mean, how Jerry Rice could do it. Do they think Moss could probably do what Jerry Rice did, how he did it, or what would make him the better wide receiver? Because me, I would have to go with Moss as over no, Rice. But I'm going to tell you, son. Listen, Rice got God. the motherfucking... The records and, and shit like that. That's what I go with T O. I go with T O. They auto. That's I, you know, it's like my uh, T- Terrence and them, my partners, they was you know, there was Moss. And I loved the Moss, but I was T O. Like when they was in the league together, I used to tell people that T O was better than Moss. Cause all I used to do is see Ross just run Moss just run by people. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you can't stop it, you know it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I used to see T.O. do all kind of shit. T.O. catch that bitch across the middle, throw him down on the ground, 100 yards, gone. Come across the middle, catch this bitch, you know, like T.O. did more. T.O. played in everywhere. Like they'll run, they, like they'll send T.O. in motion, not T.O. in the slot. T.O. about to go do this route. Like, like T.O. was used a little bit more. Randy Moss was just unstoppable, but T.O. was the better receiver. Randy Moss was like something like Durant and LeBron. T.O. would be LeBron, and Randy Moss would be Durant. The 6'6'4'2 nigga, and Durant, the 7 feet tall nigga that's shooting over you, he wet. Steph Curry, 7 feet. That's Durant, and Randy Moss, the wide receiver, I'm 6'6", six, six, and I'm the fastest thing you ever seen. Right. See, that's what he had. He yeah, had, he, 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 you know what I'm saying? So he ain't got to do what he, you hate to say it, he, he, he was so fast, he was so fast and cold, he ain't had to do what T.O. and them did. I don't triple coverage, whatever, I'm running by the coverage. It was different. I'm going to run by the coverage. It was different, but we take it away from just saying the man, yeah, go out. Yeah, yeah that's it. No, Real that time. ain't it. That ain't it. You, you gotta think Pull about it. Pull up his highlight. Oh yeah, because he got he got a lot of them highlights. <laughs> them, you can't. He got a lot of them highlights for sure. But look, you remember that screen? <laughs> it ran right there, pow. 
<laughs> yeah, look, he going to take that bitch and nobody going to touch him. Go, boop, boop, I'm out of here. Right. You that. feel? No, he still, you still, the threat of him going by you is so deadly. Right. He's catching curl routes all day. Uh, uh, wide open. Uh, let me get these six yards. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me get these six yards. The dude, that, you can't take that away from him, man, because to you. So what happened to him? Was it the he's the best receiver ever. Hey, that's what happened to him. Who ran it? No, he don't play. He on TV talking, right? You know. Yeah, right on though. TV talking. He just, he, how many years he got? It? He got about thirteen. The be, years. Whatever it took to be the best receiver of all time, he, he, he got enough of them bitches. He'll never get it over Jerry, sir. Now he'll never get it over Jerry. That's my opinion, because Jerry Rice played a little bit longer, I think, and I Jerry Rice played with Joe Montana, Steve Young. The best, son. Come on, man. Miles ain't the best. Son. He ain't the best. He's second. I mean, it's cool. He's not second, dog. I told you, dog. T.O., son. I feel you. T.O. up there. T.O. could be second. Randy Moss could be third, in your opinion. That ain't taking nothing away from Moss. I feel like Moss won. There's a lot of room at the <coughs> I feel like Moss number one. You know. What about, what about Liz Wine? That's before my time. <laughs> I ain't on Liz Wine like oh, that, right. you know. Damn, that's crazy. As soon as I just type in T.O. stats, it say T.O. stats versus Randy Moss. I ain't even type it in yet. Yeah, man, T.O. did his thing, man. T.O. did his thing. See, T.O. just o. didn't Boss, come in hot like T. Moss. T.O. got a thousand, and then you got to think. Moss came in, featured the franchise nigga. I couldn't be featured. I had to go in that slot. They had Taylor and Rice. Yeah. Then J. I, J. Stokes. Then I had rap and just them went all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, J.J. Stokes. Them them niggas, niggas. Them you did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm forgetting about J.J. Stokes. You did. You brought <laughs> Boy, he went old school with that one <laughs> with the striper socks and shit. Oh, my dog. Number 83, J.J. Stokes. Yeah. Right around that time when I, I had this car and full everything. fledged sports head. Like, I, that's when I'm watching that shit. Teal, Steve Young, them and shit. Ricky Waters and shit. Like, and when I kind of was on it from now on, like, should be known. All right, look. Comparing these wide receivers, Terrell Owens boasts 1,078 receptions while Moss claimed 954. Owens has a few more receiving yards as well, 15,934 compared to Moss, 14,858. Moss has the slight advantage in... Per, uh, yards per reception, 15 per 6 yep. to Owens, 14 per 9. You know what I'm saying? T.O. got the numbers. As if their numbers could get any closer, they both have the same amount of touchdown reception, 153 apiece. <laughs> both of them got 153 apiece. Owens may have been in the league two years longer than Randy. But he only actually played four more games than Randy Moss. You know what I'm saying? That Walsh, I mean, it stands similar. Moss, T.O. caught way more than him. Caught, what, two, they three hundred more passes. Right? They're the, the type of receivers that you would definitely want both of them on the field at the same time. They, they can for sure play together. They, yeah, right. they, they, they both deep threats. Bruh. And T.O. can, can do, right. you know, he, he can, can move around in the <laughs> trenches and not get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Right. Best type tight end. Best tight end of all time? I mean, shit, you got to go with, like, up there with Tony, Gonzalez. Um, yeah. Damn. Receiving yards per Gronkowski. game. Gronkowski. Nah, nah, he got me in this. Gronkowski is the best tight end of all time. Yeah. No. Gronkowski. No. For sure. Uh, Look. No. I'm going to tell you why. Look, listen. Hey. Listen. I be, Gronkowski. I've been hey. having this heated hey. argument <laughs> for the last two years. Gronk, baby. <laughs> Kelsey. He the best. Kelsey was better than Grant when he was in the league, when he was at New when he was when he was at New England, like them last two years at New England. Kelsey been the best tight end Kelsey in the league. Dope. The last six years got a Super Bowl. I ain't never seen a tight end like him. Look, they look, So you saw one like Grant? 
Listen, you ain't seen one like that, Grunk neither. Though. Listen, know why? I seen I I ain't, I ain't seen nobody do what Grunk did. But far as but far as Grunk, like Grunk was going on. Oh, Grunk like six seven. Listen, son, linebackers, you know, they got the you know they check. Linebackers don't even check Kelsey no more now. That's how much respect he got. They said every pass he caught. This year that just passed, a corner was on it. He would beat nothing but corners every okay. at the tight end position. I'm, I'm not gonna fuss with this, you about look, Kelsey. Kelsey a dog. This never look. This it never look. This never happened, my nigga. Gronk. I just think Gronk had listen. much more Gronk importance had, to winning because they got had, the same shit. They doing the same shit every week in week out. No, Gronk yeah. never had thirteen to fifteen hundred yards receiving for the season. Yeah, At the look, tight end position. In week 10, he was leading the league in receiver from the tight end position. Yeah, but listen, though. The most receiving yards the league in the league. a little league. bit different. A little bit. It's more pass oriented. Uh, they were slinging it. In and league, you're right? in New England, though, well, you Braided, know. Braided, slinging not, iron. They were slinging iron with Gronk. It was that early iron. day, they were sprayed. They were slinging iron, slinging but iron. Kelsey, you're the, I mean, you're pretty much you're the best receiver on the field, though. You got, you got a, a hybrid in Tyreek Hill. You got me, Cal. You but Gronk, Sammy, shit. Gronk had Moss one year, I think. What's mm-hmm. Gronk that with Moss, right? Fuck them right. Then Gronk had Aaron Hernandez. They had to spread it around a little bit more. In KC, they spread it around too, but they got arguably one of the best quarterbacks ever already. I'm, no, no, why I said it, it's. <coughs> no, what's scary about Kelsey? Why I label him the GOAT for us right now? If nothing don't happen with him and he continue to play, he looked like like LeBron and them like was looking in their prime and other top notch athletes look like he's not slowing down. He never had an injury or nothing like Kelsey is fucking the league up right now. Look like nah. he's about to be doing this. Can so Kelsey I think when, take that? when he hang it up, I think he gonna be the best ever. Now Grunk True. the best ever right now. To, today if we, look, today Tony, if we had to say Tony it. Tony most likely got more stats than and Gronk. And I fuck with Gates, too. And Tony Antonio Gates. Gates. Pretty sure they got more stats than Gronk. But I would bet you both of them would be like, yeah, Gronk was like, different. Like, what the fuck was, you know. Like, he a, he a, you know. This he, big old 6'9 dude. Whatever the, he a transformer. Like, you know. Yeah. He was uncheckable. Like, come on, man. And slow as cheese. Yeah. You Kelsey can't tackle him. That's a, that's a good dude to argue for. You know, Kelsey damn near more of a big receiver. You know, but he Grunt, he got to play tight end. Um, you know, I fuck with Kelsey, though, but Kelsey tough. Kelsey tough. It just Grunt got the Marines and shit, man. He got the Marines, bro, but... KC. Now what I said, I took, I gave, I gave somebody my top five uh, tight ends that I ever seen. Now I can't go back to the errors that I didn't see, but you know, no order. Gates, Tony, Kelsey, Grunt, and Shannon Shaw. That's the five best tight ends I think I seen in my lifetime. Now I don't know about. Your boy and them and I want Shannon Sharp second. Seat, you know, Shannon Sharp. Gromp one, yeah. Shannon Sharp second, I'm with Kelsey. I'm with that. Because he changed the game, man, Shannon. Man, he fucking with Shannon Sharp, he, he, man. Shannon changed it. If Shannon was in the league right now, like how they throwing it, he'll oh, be yeah. Kelsey. Yeah. He was Kelsey. He'll, yeah, he'll be one of them. Yeah, yeah Shannon Sharp was Kelsey. He's fast, he oh. big. Yeah. He knew. Shannon Sharp was Kelsey. Shannon Sharp. Right. That's why I see. Shannon Sharp is in... My top five of all time, tight end. Hall now, of I can fame. name some five ones too. I like I fuck with Jeremy Shockey. Yeah. You know, um, he had his run. He had a good run. Jeremy Shockey was nice. Witten, and you know, Jason and, I, and I fucked it with Witten. <coughs> Jason Witten, I true. fuck with Witten. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. I fuck with Witten. Cowboy, man. I fuck with Witten. <laughs> Couldn't fuck with Witten, though, man. Witten, go, uh, uh, uh. Let me get oh, here. I know who else I fucked it with, though. Dallas Clark, bro. 
Peyton and them when when they had yeah. their run. Dallas Clark was nice, boy. He was a good. I call him a a system good system team tight team. end. Bro, right, right. He was, was a system. clutch with it. Yeah. I thought our boy, um, what's the basketball player man playing for the Saints? Jimmy, Jimmy Graham. Graham was nice. Yeah, potential to be like the man, best. You could be one league. of the the basketball until dudes. He now nah, he did it until he got introduced to football. Now he did it. He got him a ring. Uh He was probably the best tight end in the league. Until they broke him up. I won't say Gronk was in the league. Gronk was doing this like it was him and Gronk. Yeah. Yeah. Like Jimmy Graham really was that boy, right? For like one for like two years. Look, when I pull up best tight ends of all time, though, a list of people come on, come pull up, right? Dallas Clark in that number. You know, they just got a bunch of players scattered I'm around. Pretty sure you got the stats and shit. <laughs> but you Dallas sure Clark, the he, in the, he in that number, dog. You, you talk to Dallas Clark and he tell you what he done did, and you going to be like, well, damn, yeah, he is one of the best fuck I got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Play with Pete Manny, you know, that's one of the best ever. Yep. Yeah. Man. They don't have no number one? Who? On a list. Uh, just a list no, like it's just, uh, it's just a list that popped up that's just names scattered. They got people like Ben Coates and all them on here. Oh, yeah, old oh, school. Like old oh, school right there. Then they got tw- they got the top 25 right here, not. They got Zach Ertz at 25. Like, what the name all the time? Yeah. Vernon Vernon Davis like twenty two Dallas Club twenty Keith Jackson Ben Cole. I'm saying man, we could put out our own rank and that shit gonna come right up to. Right. What the fuck we got to do? You know what I'm saying? You, we was just talking about that other day. Man, they got Mike Dick and them on the list. They got Sam Sharp Dick number good, four. Boy. They got Sharp four, Grunk three, Gates two, and Tony Gonzalez one. I mean, Gates good. Right oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez, yeah, number sure. one, and they got every right to say that. Gun, yeah, Gonzalez, number one. Yeah. Gates, number two. Nigga, forget him, boy. Gates. Oh, Gates tore this boy, bitch boy. up in Philly Gates Rivers, boy. Gates tore this bitch up. Now, he a basketball nigga, too. <laughs> but Gates tore it up. He was uncheckable at one time, boy. Yeah, he was Gates, uncheckable. Gates tore it up. Like, he ain't had no help. Till he got... Too old, Keenan Allen and shit. Can't think about who he had in between time, but it was him. Him and Phillip Rivers slinging that thing. No homework. And, um, <laughs> man, I wanted to tap in on some, some other uh, stuff, too. Man, uh, what they going to do with this boy, Justin Fields? You know. They're starting um, Andy and Doug. Andy Doug. That's cool, man. Start the man. Bring the man in. They Whenever play the Rams. Bring him in. They play the Rams week one. Hey, come on now. They play the Rams week man, one. Don't the do best. that to him. Don't do that to him. No, indeed. No, Not no, week no. one. Nah. And the dog, you know how to handle it. Be conservative. Shit, chat. I'll probably take the under that game. And uh, a team that that's not really my team, because you know how how how. How that Dallas fan base is, bro. You be tired of hearing them, bro. Every year. Dallas. You know how they fans is. But I like that. Good, I boy. like Dallas this year, bro. Like, I, and they don't be years, I don't be liking Dallas. But this year, I got a little feeling about Dallas. This the thing. This how I Because they got everything. Because I don't look at them like Dallas that. Dallas got everything. Dallas got everything. I look at bro. it on. What y'all been doing, and you know, if the same pieces that shit, I feel like Dallas a good team. They should be competitive. They good enough where they should be thinking about winning the Super Bowl. You know, yes, indeed. Should be happening in the season where it be, it be two or three plays be done cost you two or three games. You know what I'm saying? Where you'll be ten and one, but. You motherfucking eight and three now. You know, well, it's shit, you know, it'd be small shit like that. Well, right. 
they good enough to, to go win a Super Bowl, man, with Dak, man. So they competitive, bro. It right. just they got they got a bigger uh They got a bigger um they got more eyes on them. They the cowboys. So they got a lot Say, of haters. Bro. They got a lot of people really? who fuck with them. Think about it. So the the talk can be more. Even though everybody oh, says it's oh, highly oh. unlikely that he wouldn't have did it, but it wasn't impossible because Peyton Manning threw for fifty five hundred yards. He got the record. Dak was on pace last year to throw for 6,000 yards when he got hurt. He was on pace to be the first 6,000-yard passer. So yeah. just say he would have got like 53, 55. That's what I'm saying. Boy, they got All that. All that shit going to keep getting broke. Like, that's what, the, that's what this shit coming to. Like, it's just more and more offense, the, the, the calls and shit. Hey, you know, what they don't have. Listen, bro. Listen, if they get stops... They going to the bowl. They that's my NFC championship if they don't play against each other this year. That's my NFC title game. Dallas and the Rams. Because the Rams they just scary with what they just added. But Dallas scary to me. If they could play any type of defense, they might have the most complete O in the league. They starting O. Far as like not they back up to nothing. They first eleven. Cooper Hill, Gallup Hill, C D Lamb gonna turn up this year. This year too. Like that is special. He showed you the flash. C D Lamb coming back bigger and stronger <laughs> and better this year. Dallas got with Zeke in that back. Zeke got something to prove, boy. Healthy, one hundred percent. They ready. Dallas ready. And, you know, I don't really mess with Dallas like that. But, I, you know, I respect talent. And if I think you good, you know, I prop you up. I think Dallas. <laughs> Check this out. This, this, good, this, this, this awesome wild shit. It across my mind. <coughs> Look, whoop. I want you to hit this to the hood. I'm going to predict the first play of the Saints season, bro. It ain't going to. You can bet on Relax, that. though. You can bet on that. Hey, relax. You can bet on first that. First play. Hey, it's going to be pick six, James. It's going to be pick six. <laughs> we going to go crazy. And the whole city going to be like, man, get rid of and everything the right then and there. And we going to score 40 to some 50 points that game. You feel me? But I, I don't know why that crossed my mind right quick. Hey, I'm going to predict it right get it now. off his I'll chest right now. Get it off my chest right now. If man throwing a pick or two a game, it'd be putting up between 40 and 50. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want I don't want no pick or two a game, though. I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want but but yeah, if he's going to put up 40 and 50, If he's throwing 33 or better, 30, 30, 33 or better. He's got a job, too, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. Say, dog, the defense, no matter but what. But say, bro, 40, though. I don't know about our defense this year because we've been top five every year, dog, and Man, you know, Lattimore caught the charge and shit, bro. And see, we got shit going on. Our defensive nigga, out six games. We got shit going on on our defense, dog. And that been the heart and soul of the team, bro. We got shit going on Dude, with the defense. We building right now. Yeah, but we, we got... We Man, Sean Payton about to be trying to outscore people, man. Yeah. We ain't got no cornerback on the other side. We only got a slot dude. I like Gardner yeah. Johnson. That's the slot dude. The dude no, from Florida. We, no, not him. He him too though. He like he going I'm not sure what it's gonna be. He must be the third cornerback though. Up, Cause bro. Lattimore, then they had Janars Jenkins. He's still pick six. And you then know, that's gonna be a screen pick six. That's and then guess what? <laughs> Our first game is Green Bay I'm at home, huh? We got Green Bay at home, huh? Cause last year we went to them for the first game. For that game. No, they really? came nuts. We go to Green Bay. Do we? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't know. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he went to camp. Back. He, back. he went to camp the day before yesterday. Oh, for real? Yeah. gonna cut up again, man. He won MVP, huh? Yeah, he, yeah, MVP, unanimous MVP. He gonna cut up again. He, he one of them special dudes, bro. Yeah, he is. I ain't lying. He just. I ain't gonna lie. 
I want to put a little something, a little prop bet on Matthew Stafford to win the MVP, but with the defense he got, he don't need to do, like, in other words, he going to do good and all that, but I don't think he going to have the numbers because he ain't going to have to do that. Like, like all they going to be having to do is just take care of the ball and put people away. You get what I'm saying? They got the defensive play to where he ain't really got to cut up. He don't have to have MVP numbers. That might not be a good bet to take him to win the MVP is what I'm saying. He the defense too dude. good. So huh? bad you staff. Man, that dude. Number one the overall pick. Coach, man. Yeah, number one overall pick. Or McVay. Yeah, Sean McVay. And he got Matthew Stafford. He not going to be. Let's punt. You saying, yeah, we, then he's not punt. about to be Trent Delphi. We not just punting and relying on this D, even though they cold. Oh, we about to punish y'all. Yeah, I got but, Matthew but Stafford. Look, no, this is what I mean by. I understand could, totally could, what he, you mean. He could come beat Ben Roethlisberger when they used to toad it and shit. Well, you saying when Ben was in his first year in the league when they won it, his rookie year? You got Matthew Stafford. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You had to do that when Ben first year, second year. Yeah, we going uh, uh, uh. We got Matthew Stafford, man. We can put the ball in his hand. If y'all be playing, we're going to be up 28 nothing at the half. No, but what I'm saying, can he win the MVP with that good-ass defense? Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hell yeah. This is the thing about it. They go 15 and 1. Yeah, Pat Mahomes, you done, threw for, you done broke the record. You threw for 5,600 yards. Y'all lost three games this year, though. And I threw for fifty. I threw for five thousand too, though. I'm fifteen and one. Right, cause you got weapons. Same amount of touch, you know. If it's a close battle, right. Now Rams in a tough deci- in d- tough division, but that ain't bad. If K- KC go thirteen and three, they go fifteen and one. It could be switch of rules, but I imagine Stafford can win the MVP. Plain and simple. Yeah, he can win the MVP. All right. All right, but you think his chance is as good as Allen? You see what I'm saying? I bet you on the eyes thing, Allen shit, you going to get less money for Allen. I mean, that's Vegas. But you know what? Yeah, you know why? Because Allen did it last year. That yeah, this yeah. This something new. Yeah, yeah. Allen and did it. Allen and did it. It's something new. It's like saying, you know, Josh Allen went somewhere after what he did last year. Yeah, we gonna feel like still gonna feel like Josh Allen about to go do it. It's like Deshaun John Deshaun um Watson, yeah, Watson going somewhere right now. Still gonna feel like, you know, M V P type thing. But Matthew Stafford on a good team. I never saw Mac Mister trying to manage nothing. Right. <laughs> like, no, he always slinging <laughs> iron. Like, I'm slinging iron. Yeah. And I don't care if you're up in the fourth quarter. Yeah. That's all we know is Matthew Stafford. Boy, you better not you better not put no chill yeah. on. As garbage as Detroit it was. I'm if, coming if, back because I'm I done figured if, y'all out. If you are better, you don't like to go against him because you know about him. Yes, and he ain't better. No, what? He coming back, Ron. He coming back. <laughs> Y'all going, you know, y'all may beat him. Y'all might be up. Might win by 10 because something happened. His receiver and fumbled or something. But he going to sling iron. He giving them good weapons, man, that good ass deep, uh, bro. I'll put something on Dak. Yeah, man. That's MVPs everywhere, bro. You got Lamar. You got Patrick Mahomes. Got Josh Russell. Allen. Russell. Russell, you know. Time. Time. Newcomers who possibly could do it. Ben. Jameis Winston. Ben. Matthew Stafford. Not newcomer, mm-hmm. but you know, a new situation. Listen, <coughs> Ben could have won it last year. They opened up 10 and 0. Yeah, fell off. Ben Rosenberger, he could win. Lamar just won it. 
Yeah, like you say, MVPs everywhere. You everywhere. Right, you right, though. M- uh, MVP <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, yeah. You could just go in there and just spread a few dollars out on a few people, and that's money later. One of them going, you know. It's, I mean, I don't know, because it's everywhere. Like, Jameis can win that bit. Right. Sean Payton come out here. Jameis win the MVP. Sean Payton, he, like, he top five best coaches ever, like. And he probably don't even need that, but he up there, like you know what I'm saying. Right. But can something off the wall like this happen? Can a Garoppolo win the MVP with that coach over there, with that defense, with the Bosa bar and all that? Cause they souped up too. They were just talking about that division earlier, dog. That division, bro. Garoppolo won't Who finish the, the season as their quarterback. No, fuck no. Oh, they going with that bar from North Dakota State? They just I'm just saying. You're going to be the figure dude Cause out. Because dude talking it, too, they talking good about, you know. It, that's just probably they gonna saying end up he they quarterback and they going to Mahone. Not that good enough, dude. man. You playing against, you got Kyler Murray, Matthew Stafford, and um and Russell. You ain't about to keep up and with that damn keep, system and shit. Look, no, you that, need a better quarterback. And everybody, Arizona is picked to come in last and everything. Now, Vegas. 49 is probably going to have still a great team for sure. He had a full nine. But he going to win the up. MVP? No, it's not going to be because of him. He's gonna, it's a system with he him. He managing. All right. He managing. All right. It's all right. the, you know, and I all feel right. like they're going to figure that out. All right. Now, so you said a Kirk Cousins Greg could Kittle? win the MVP before him, before Garoppolo. A Kirk Cousins. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's Kirk Cousins slinging the ball, throwing yeah. his thing around. But Greg Kittle. He a potential best tight end of all time. You know, that's potential. He's yeah, still he young. He just started, yeah. Cold. He cold. He, yeah. He cold. He a whole demon out there, like, but. He cold. First, go. that's why I say the division, anybody can win that division, though. The Rams Anyone just got tough, Anyone in the though. team, and the Rams just got tough, and the Rams my pick. Rams but got tough, bro. That division scary like that. Matthew Staff. And Jared Goff was cool, bro. Jared Goff was cool. It's just, it's like Matthew Stafford got to figure it out a little bit more, I feel like, you know, a little bit more. You just gave the Rams a 95% Mahomes. That's how cold Matthew Stafford is. Like, I pulled up a video from my partners the other day. Dude been doing this. Looking right here. Hitting a nigga with the cross. <laughs> like they sit throwing they sit they show they they show my song, my homes clip and Stafford clip. It was like the Rams gotta still woo 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 Matthew Stafford been like mechanics and shit. Top notch, like best in the league, arguably. When I heard Bruce Aarons. This was during Super Bowl week. You know, it's two weeks long. It's during them times where they ain't really got shit to talk about. They just talking about, they just asking them about other players he coached and all that. So they bring up Matthew Stafford. He said, yeah, put it like this. Not quarterback. I used to just go out and just watch him throw. Top five thrower I ever seen. Just throw the football around the yard. In the 50 years I've been around football, Bruce Aaron said that about Matthew Stafford. He said, you know, if they just go out in the yard, he said, I used to just, like, come out. If I ever play against Matt or be where Matt at, I'm going to go out there and see Matt warm up and throw that ball. Nobody no not throw it like him. I'm like, Lord, he been around the game 50 years, you know. Rams, boy, it's gonna be tough, boy. He held it, they tough. That's a, that's what I'm saying. It's got to be good odds. If if that bet was a hundred dollars that the Rams make it to the Super Bowl and Tennessee make it to the Super Bowl, they get you nine thousand. Then what if you take Tennessee off and just go with the Rams to go to the Super Bowl? Not even win it. They get that. It's probably still going to be some nice bread. But yeah, them 100 might turn a 3,000 or something. Yeah, man. 
We're going to be talking about the spread a lot, too. Yeah, man. Because it's about to be legal down here in New Orleans. Yeah, man. We're going to be talking about that a lot this year. We're going to be letting y'all know what the spreads is and everything. You know. You hear me? Yeah, man. Smoking sports. We ain't getting no real good intro, but it is what it is, baby. You feel me? Noodles and toast. You did that draft was the night key Cunningham with number one. I don't even know nobody else on that like that. Jalen really the, Green just, under you know this, this really COVID the, shit. You feel me? But we gonna get on y'all. All right, this really the dry times of sports. Like right now, ain't too many right. topics. Ain't too much really going. We are gonna on. come back. We are gonna come back right with on. something special though. We are gonna come back and figure some shit out and do some history or something. You know, we coming back with it. 